So Laura, looked like you were doing a lot of work on your own there. I was. Um, you know, I, I wasn't going to be complacent on like, the break up the road. And, you know, I tried to get across, but I was pretty heavily marked and it really just didn't feel as good. So I thought if we could maybe bring it close enough, um, it would animate some things that would bring it back in the shuffle. You know, I would have liked to have been on a break just to come back today, but I'm, I'm satisfied with the. Um, I think it was second so or third. Yeah. Yeah. And it feels great, so that puts you about fifth. Yeah, yeah about fifth or sixth. I'm not certain when we get right. to the line. How do you feel about Glencoe tomorrow? Um, I'm excited. Glencoe, both, uh, Glencoe is a very challenging course. Uh, you know, you ride it and you think, hmm, and then you race it and you're like, wow. And uh, typically it's pretty hot to race there, which, you know, it's not going to be that way. But I like it. And I think both of these events, the crowd is fantastic. What a great cycling community. Um, I look forward to the Bluff being on the calendar again. I'm glad I made that effort to come out here. Great. Thank you. All the guys on the side were asking me, I was describing you, and they're all like, which one is she? Which one is she? This huge fan base. How are you describing me? She's great. It's the first day of summer break. I don't mind. I'm old. I'm not afraid. This is the seventh grader, a young boy, Jose Antonio Zamudio. Who was on well, that created a huge fan base. On Wednesday, he was riding his bicycle. He was struck and killed by a conductor. And we're going to have a, just a moment. He was honored by his teachers and the principal. It's a great kid. And I can't even tell you how my heart felt when I saw this. As a parent, my wife and I, we saw this. And we